What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is hump day. We're getting over the hump, and that also means when it's hump day, that means we got uh, the Dan Salio show in about an hour. So I can't wait to get on there because, you know, people have been giving me a hard way to go because they literally say that I'm taking it easy on them. Oh, okay, I, you know what? I'm biding my time. I'm biding my time, you know? Um, it's all good. And just let them feel good about beating up on the little old cowboy fan, you know, because... Think Mark Holmes, the son of John Holmes, has ever had Stephen Jones on four times on his show? Who in the world is Mark Holmes? Will somebody please tell me? Right away, King Dick back here. And so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my dad. Yeah, so just just be cool. We we're, we're gonna have fun with it today. I got a little extra ammunition. I'm gonna just start, you know, the scrimmage, the uh, skirmishing, skirmishing. The you know, just just kind of get get a little feelers out there. Kind of definitely get underneath their skin a bit. But speaking of getting under our skin, the Dallas Cowboys. Some people think it's a sense of urgency right now to get the deals done for Dak, CD. And Micah Parsons. You know, it's crazy to me that everybody's saying that they literally have to get Micah Parsons done right now. And it's kind of like, bro, Cowboys don't do that with any of their premier players. There's not a single premier player that didn't have to either get franchise tagged or held out. Seriously. Dak has literally twice. D-Law has literally uh, been basically taken to the wire twice. You know, you had Dalton Schultz, you had Tony Pollard, you had Zeke hold out. So why now all of a sudden you people think that the Cowboys are going to go ahead and pay Micah Parsons now? It's not what they do. But let's go to the tape here because this is kind of an interesting take on this. You know, I'm getting set up for my show. Some really important players left in free agency, including Tony Pollard, Tyron Smith, and Tyler mm -hmm. Biadish, and Dorrance Armstrong. Dallas committed an NFL low $47 million to free agents this offseason, mm -hmm. $33 million less than the next lowest team. That's the wow. Saints at $80 million, if you're curious. That includes Ezekiel Elliott and Eric Kendricks on one-year deals. They know they got a lot of people to pay, so they're trying to save some money. But, Herm, in your mind, what does this all boil down to? Winning in the playoffs, and this team struggles when it gets to playoff competition. They win a lot of regular season games. If you look at this team, even this year, they're going to average, what, 12, 13 wins. Problem is, Dak Prescott is going to be the guy under the most pressure. His record in the playoffs is 0-2. I mean, so, you know, he's only got two playoff wins, excuse me. So, that's not very good for a quarterback that uh, has a team like the Dallas Cowboys. And so, you know, Dak's feeling it, but this whole team's feeling it. Under the bright lights of playoff competition, and I've said it numerous times, the stars are very dim. They don't show up. They don't play well in playoff competition. During the regular season, they are fantastic. But when the playoffs start, just look at their record. It's the Cowboys. That's right. It is the Cowboys. Uh, what is it, 29 years now? That's the... That's the cry Jerry's hearing in the wilderness. It's been 29 years, Jerry. 29. Yep. Can't lie. And what would Jerry give up for a Super Bowl, Herm? He would give up everything. And it feels like this franchise Not right money. now is at a real critical juncture. And you could say that about every team, every offseason. But with so many players yeah. headed into the last year of their contracts, with the head coach headed into the last year of his contract, with Jerry Jones talking about this team being all in and this team being so inactive during the offseason. Does it feel like any team has more of a spotlight on it right now than the Dallas Cowboys? The Cowboys already have a ton of pressure on them. They do every year. But it feels like it's only magnified this year with the stakes being even higher than they've been because of the inactions of front office and ownership in terms of 
getting some of these players signed to long-term deals. How many questions is Dak Prescott going to answer this season about his deal? How many questions Ooh. are those other players going to answer this season about their deal? There's a lot of pressure on this franchise. There always is, but it feels like it's ratcheted up even that much more this season. Yeah. Adam, you, you, great, make, uh, you make some great points there, and, and really the bottom line is this, and everyone can see it. Either this team does what it's supposed to do when it gets to the playoffs, or it's going to be a brand new team. They're going to start over. They're going to start over, basically. Do we, do we think so? I mean, that's what they're saying, and everybody sees it. Uh, the players know it. Uh, every organization gets to this point at, one, at some time, and, and now they're there. They're sitting at it. They're looking at it in the face. And if these, uh, these players need to come together, it has nothing to do with the coach anymore, has nothing to do with ownership, just as players, and say, hey, man, let's get this thing done. Mm. Well, if they do have to start over, Herm, make us a promise that you're not the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Too valuable to us here at ESPN. <laughs> Draft guy's got to talk here for a second about some of the rookies, though, because while there are a lot of very large... You can't say that to an Eagle player! I'm so, I'm so, oh, that's right. My bad, my bad. That was, you know, that was <laughs> a little water, water. bad mixture right there by me. Failed chemistry back in the day. It all adds up right now, 20 years later. But on the young guy front, yes, you, you Dak and CeeDee Lamb and, and, of course, Michael Parsons looking for contracts. Notable names people are mm -hmm. all very familiar with. The Cowboys need some young, instant impact players as well we because for the first time in over a decade, they have a season-long question mark at left tackle. They've had Tyron mm -hmm. Smith anchoring that spot since he was a 20-year-old rookie out of USC. They ended up using their first-round pick after moving back from 24 that on Tyler Guyton from Oklahoma. He has immense talent. He has mm -hmm. a chance to become a star at the NFL level. He's also a one-year starter in college or who played on the right side last year <sighs> for Oklahoma. So you're changing sides of the line. You're stepping into a high-leverage position. Mm -hmm. Now, the Cowboys do have Tyler Smith, their star left guard, who they could play at left tackle. I get it. We're going to talk more about what happens in January. But in order to get there, you got to have a competent offensive line. And for the first time in a long time, there are a few more questions along that Dallas offensive mm -hmm. line, specifically that left they're, tackle they're spot. Really, yeah, and if you think about what really Adams not. laid out here, the mm -hmm. pressure that they may f be feeling, the questions that Dak Prescott is going to be getting all season long, and the fact that he's got a left tackle that's trying to figure this thing out real time. It, it just takes you into the mode of this upcoming season that may be pretty crazy. Let me just check on Herm. Herm, you good after that? You all good? You feeling okay? I round them up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Well, no, wait, wait, wait! Look, look! Don't, yes. don't forget about this. Yes. You see this? Look at this. You see this? Uh oh, Kelly. They, these guys don't oh. like the Cowboys. They don't like the Cowboys. And we don't like you. Hey, Jerry might offer you a big old check, though, Herm. Sheffy was, uh, Sheffy was gonna get in there. I mean, listen. All right, we're gonna leave it right there. You know, I'd like Herm Edwards and all that he is um, definitely a no-nonsense coach and who definitely is a motivator but here's the thing i don't know that there's any more questions on the offensive line than there have been since travis frederick got hurt excuse me had hillian barber syndrome um the cowboys offensive line has been in flux we have gone through a lot of offensive linemen when you think about how many different combinations we've had over the last five years, um, I'm happy that we actually have some young studs to try and plug in there. We've had a lot of turnover. We've had a lot of issues with different players and things like that. I'm okay where we are on the offense line. Just remember, you play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. <laughs>